Hello, drummers, musicians, music aficionados, drummer, drum teacher Tim Conley here today with an awesome reaction video. I've been waiting for this one. Some are asking me, how come this didn't happen sooner? Well, sometimes you got to be patient and save things for later. And that's what I've done. Steve Gadd, the legendary Steve Gadd at a drum clinic in Los Angeles. As always, I'm going to let you know whether or not this is a cold view, cold reaction, or I've actually seen this before. I'm going to be honest, I have seen this before. It's excellent. And that's why I chose this particular one because it's Steve Gadd around 1990. He's just at his best. He's just incredible. So we'll check this out. I just want to let you know there is, because it's an old, uh, I think it's a actually a VCR or VHS tape that's been translated to the internet. There's a buzz that's taking place from the video itself. It's 1990, people. <laughs> the sound just wasn't as good. So anyways, let's check out Steve Drum Clinic in Los Angeles. Right away, it's simple, musical as hell. Right in the pocket, right off the bat. Nice and low volume, grooving. It's hard to play soft and still make it groove. But Steve Gadd is brilliant at it. Harvey Mason's another guy that comes to mind. David Garibaldi. Steve is known for building his clinics when he does them. As you can see, he's building and building this. Those sixteenths are so nice on the hat. So musical. I love that cowbell. More cowbell. Add that little bass drum in as a segue. <clears throat> Grooving like crazy. Still building it, man. This is so awesome right off the bat. Steve is known for his rudimental approach to drumming, and I'm heavily influenced by him in the same way. I've stolen a thousand Steve Gadd licks. Oh yeah, I love it. Offbeat eights. Playing sixteenths, but hitting that offbeat eight. Open hi-hat. Open hi-hat sounds awesome. So clean. Ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ah. 30 second no paradiddles. <clears throat> I'm going to do a lesson in the future showing how to do that. So musical and clean. <laughs> I love it. Every note has got musical backing behind it. Every note. Back to the edge of the thing he was playing earlier, minus the open hi-hat, adding some rolls. Got 
boom, boom, boom. Ah. Oh, a little, just for a split second there, he did Paul Simon's tune there. Fifty Ways to Leave Your Lover. Took me a minute to remember the name of the song. <laughs> oh yeah, some hand and feet, rudimental, linear stuff. Ah, I love the way he plays. He's such an amazing influence. There's a reason why he is the legend that he is. His playing is so good. In the pocket, there's nobody deeper than this pocket. Building it, building it, building it. Single bass, by the way, people. He attacks those drums. Ah, the legendary Steve Gadd fills. Man, oh man. Just fantastic. He's one of those guys you can literally watch play drums all day. He's also one of those drummers that I hate it when people say, oh, I go to a concert when the drum solo starts. That's when I go get my beer. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That is so musical. That's a song in itself. That whole thing, he took you on a journey. You know, ups and downs dynamically. He built it, built it, built it, built it, built it, and an explosion at the end, and then woof, it's over. I mean, that is an incredible drum solo. Musical, grooving drum solo. I mean, Steve Gadd has it all. He's got chops, he's got feel, he's got time, he's got finesse, he's got Steve Gaddisms. <laughs> he's got it all. And I'm going to have to say, Steve Gadd, Steve Smith, um, Dom Familiaro, Buddy Rich, these are all my biggest influences. Um, you know, and Steve Gadd is right up there with being a huge musical influence. I really love the musical. Um, drummers you know um i want to do a reaction to steve jordan coming up soon too as well he's another very very musical groove oriented drummer now the reason that i'm doing mainly solos in my reaction is because while i love seeing drummers play in bands i'm always going to get a copyright claim and i try to avoid copyright claims youtube hands them out like parking tickets <laughs> And I'm just tired of getting them, so I try and avoid them. I don't have any copyright claims right now, and I'm trying to keep it that way. So that's why I do drum solos and not so much songs. So, <clears throat> update, hands getting better. Still can't move my finger past that point, but it's getting there. Ah, um, scar tissue is preventing me from moving that finger too much. So... I just got to keep working it and doing my exercises and hand therapy and I'll be back drumming soon. I was actually playing a little bit this morning, just trying to get myself back into it slowly. Anyways, check out my Patreon. Buy me a cup of coffee if you want to support the channel. Check out my other channel, my hobby. I'm obviously a professional drummer, but my hobby is camping, hiking, being outdoors. Check out my other channel, Connolly Outdoors. I just put out my first official camping video. I'm going to be putting out a few more of those every time I go camping. A lot of work filming a camping video. A lot of work. Uh, I think in some ways it's harder than filming the drumming videos, <laughs> especially when the elements are unpredictable. So comment, like, subscribe. And as always, keep drumming. See ya. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>